Good afternoon, everyone. Hope we're all okay. Wearing my LA Knight t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, got TAW up here. I will just quickly go on Twitch now. Reload the channel. Hopefully Josh is already there. No, no one there so far. I don't know how to get rid of that hologram, by the way. How do I move that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, we've got two in the chat already. Who's going to message in the chat first? Is it going to be Josh or is it going to be somebody else? Let's find out. Oh, nearly got a copyright strike last uh, last time I streamed. Playing the uh, Rocks theme tune. Luckily, WWE, for some reason, allowed it. I don't know how, but they did. I'm just going to wait for a few people to come along. Hello in the chat, if you're in there. Don't be shy. Hello, 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 everybody. Uh. Hello, Durandi. Bloody hell, long time no see. All right, done. Yeah, basically, it's a wrestling version of Football Manager, mate. You, you might be more interested in this one. <laughs> Hello, lads. How are you? Dan, have you recovered from Saturday night yet? Randy, nice to see you again. I'm seeing you for a while. Hope you're okay. How's life in Holland? <laughs> Yeah, Dan, I'll just quickly show you. Yeah, I'll just load it up like this. There you go. Some of the wrestlers might remember. Yeah, Batista, you'll recognise Batista. Uh, probably recognise it. You probably recognise all these. John Cena, Andy Orton, Roman Reigns, Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H. There you go. Yeah, that's true, Randy. I um, I decided to stream TEW twenty twenty instead of Football Manager because I feel I felt like I wasn't really getting many people in the chat. So hello, Josh. Um, so yeah, so I decided to swap, and I did a test little test run with TEW. I had quite a few people join, and they stayed with the whole stream. So, yeah, don't worry, mate. Cheers, Dan. It was nice seeing you on Saturday night, mate. Hope to see you soon, buddy. Yeah. 
How are you today, Josh? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright, can't complain. Yeah, I had a good weekend and uh, got to see my mates on, my one lot of mates in, on Saturday. And then I went to see a local, I went to see a local wrestling show around the corner from where I live uh, yesterday. The quality of wrestling wasn't very good, as you expect, but it was a good laugh. My, girl, my girlfriend, um, my girlfriend enjoyed it. She had a good laugh. She even got a high five on one of the wrestlers that she liked. There was one wrestler who looked like a rip-off of Kevin Owens, and I kept shouting, fight, Owens, fight. No, there was no... The only guy you would know on there is, if you Google Tiny Iron, he's got the biggest biceps in Britain or something like that. He was there. Yeah, but that was it. There was no, there was no wrestlers that were noticeable that you would know. They weren't too bad. They 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 tried. They all tried hard. They they weren't they weren't like rubbish, but it was just a bit, you know. But the, the tickets didn't cost me anything because it were my mates got them for free, so we can't complain. And we enjoyed it for what it was. The only annoying thing about it was there was these two women, and I think there were a few sandwiches short of a, uh, a few grapes short of a bunch or whatever they call it, and they were just constantly like. They're constantly shouting chicken at the the back, uh, the heels, and it was just like, oh, it just gave me a headache after what it was doing me head in. But they had fun, and that's all that matters. Don't matter about everybody else. Anyway, let's reset this. I uh, offline, I skipped a couple of days up to the next show because um, I, I, I think I signed a few more wrestlers, but I could be wrong. To, uh, to the annoyance of our, uh, our friend Dave, if he turns up today. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody here that's noticeable that you would know. Actually, if I do it, I'll do women's first. If I do it with female gender, where is it? Gender, there we go. We'll go female first. If I go through the female roster, uh, I don't know, let's do. Wrestlers, not just wrestler. There you go. I'm trying to see if there's anybody here that wasn't here when we spoke last. Maybe you'll tell me in a second. You'll probably see him. I think I already told you about cheerleader Miss Melissa. She's a road agent. Electra Lopez. She's in Legrado. Oh, I've done like new stables and everything, Josh. So there's a lot to go through. I signed Ivy uh, Lease because she can work as a road agent mostly as well. Uh, I'm just going through them one by one. Blue Fisto, Madison Eagle, same reason I signed them. Road agents. Signed Mandy Rose. Alina, same reason. Road agent. More road agents, the better, I think, to be honest. Mickey James, road agent mostly. Signed Peyton Royce and Billy Kay to come back as the Iconics. Signed Ronda Rousey. There you go. That's the big one. Ronda Rousey. She's back. Roxanne Perez is on the main roster now as well. We've got a very, very big women's division. So uh, there'll be definitely more women's matches on my WWE roster. Now, if we just go on the male one, let's just have a quick look. Obviously, Ackham and Razor come into it. Alexander Wolf, I've signed him. He, he, I will explain why in a minute when I go through the stables. Um, Baron Corbin, I've called up. I'm going to push Baron Corbin. I've decided because I love Baron Corbin. Brian Kendrick comes in as a road agent, as I think I already explained before. Annoyingly, Brutus Creed is a heel, so I have to turn him babyface. So there's a few wrestlers I'm going to have to do angles for to turn them just to get them to the right alignment, because I must have missed it before. 
I changed Trevor Lee's name to Cameron Grimes for his proper name. He's a heel for some reason there. Charlie Dempsey's been called up. I've got him managed by his dad. Chris Hero's a road agent. Curtis Axel, Axel, Axel's a road agent that I've signed. Epico, obviously, we exp I explained before, signed him and uh, Primo to eventually go off with Carlito as a heel group, eventually. That'll be one of the plans. Hikaleo, he signed. He's going to be in the bloodline. He's still there, Josh. Sorry, mate. I signed Tanahashi. Tanahashi is here. He's, he's joined his compatriot, Mr. Okada. Don't ask me how I signed him, because I haven't signed him on a exclusive contract. His contract is a written contract. So New Japan is still his number one priority. But yeah, managed to sign him. Uh, James Storm, obviously you remember from last one. Jack Evans is signed as a road agent. James Storms will be road agent, but he'll also tag up with Robert Roode. Might push beer money. JT. G signed him to be a road agent, occasionally wrestling. Can't change his name. Uh, Jeff Cobb I've signed. Terry Matthews I've signed as a road agent. Kalisto I've, I've re-signed. There we go. One of the goats of all time, Okada. Harry Morton, I've signed. I can't send him away yet because the contract hasn't started, but he will go to NXT when I can. Killian Dane's re-signed with us. Kurt Angle, obviously, you mentioned him before. Uh, Leo Rush, I've signed. And a lot of, play a lot of wrestlers, as, as we know. Madcap Moss is back. I've signed him because I quite liked him when he was there, to be honest. Same as Mansoor, I liked him as well. Matt Cadona's come back. He's not going to be Zack Ryder, though. He's going to be Matt Cadona. And he's managed by his wife. I think his wife. I think they're married now. I don't know. Matt Riddle I brought back, even though it was a bit iffy because of, obviously, some of the stuff he's uh, been accused of. But because he hasn't got done, I suppose I'll leave it for now. Right. Matt Um Primo, obviously. Ray Horace, who's going to be in the LWO. Rhett Tite is assigned as a road agent, occasionally wrestles. Ricardo Rodriguez, I've signed. He's going to manage um, RVD, and there was somebody else. I think it's Ricochet. Yeah, Ricochet. So I give him Ricochet, Ricardo Rodriguez. Uh, don't ask me why, I just thought it was just a random one. Rikishi's here. He's not in the bloodline. He is going to be managing and teaming up with his son. Jay Uso on Raw for now. Rockstar Spuds are brought in as a road agent, occasionally wrestles. Sean Spears I've brought in mostly to work as a road agent eventually. Yeah, but he will wrestle occasionally when needed. Uh, I think that's it now on the side of thing. Oh, I've signed Bo Dallas. I've turned him into Uncle Howdy. He's still with us, Josh. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> so much to so much to go through. Um, right, let's have a look at the stables. So here's the stables. Alpha Academy hasn't changed since the other day. I've I've started a new group called Catchpoint with Matt Riddle, Charlie Dempsey, Jeff Cobb, Pete Dunn, Tyler Bay, and William Regal as their manager. I've got a Chaos stable. I couldn't call them Chaos. I call them Chaos America. And we've got Okada, Tanahashi, and Nakamura, who will be turned into a baby face sooner or later. Uh, Evolution, I just because Triple H is technically, I've got him as a uh, occasional wrestler, um, and then I just got him basically managing Batista and Randy Orton. Both Batista and Randy Orton are baby faces, so is Triple H. So they'll be a baby face group for now. Imperium has got Alexander Wolf added. Kabuki Warriors, obviously straightforward with that one. Um, I've, signed, I've, I've put Ivelisse in Legorado del Fantasma. 
LWO has been strengthened a hell of a lot. I will go through all these in a second. Oh, you can't, can you? Sorry, bear with us. I've just been waffling on, not even paying attention. Right, bear with us. I completely forgot about that. Sorry about that, Josh. Right, let's start again. Now you can see what I can see. Right, let's start again with the stables, mate. So, catch point, new stable I've put in with all baby faces, um, with Matt Riddle, Charlie Dempsey, Jeff Cobb, Pete Dunn, Tyler Bate, William Regal. Got my Chaos America, I called him because I couldn't call him Chaos, unfortunately. So you got Akada, Tanahashi, and Nakamura. Nakamura is a heel at the moment, but he will, he will be becoming a face. Evolution, as I've explained already, Triple H. Batista, Randy Orton. Um, Imperium's got Alexander Wolf. Can you see it all right now, yeah? How did I sign Tanahashi? Oh, hello, sorry. You can't. Oh, sorry, Dave. I didn't realise uh, you couldn't hear me then. Sorry. Can you hear me now, um, Dave? Can you hear me okay? Josh, you can hear me, can't you? You said you can hear me, so that's fine. I think it's more of a... Yeah, so how I signed Tanahashi, his, his contract wasn't exclusive somehow. So I've signed him to a written contract. He's not probably going to wrestle that much because he's going to be mostly with New Japan. But I'll just put him in there when I can. Sorry, Dave. Nice to see you again. I hope you're okay, buddy. Um, I'll chat to you in a second when I've finished going through these. Yeah, so Kabuki War is as straightforward as always. Ivy Lease is in the... And, and Electro Lopez are part of Legrado Del Fantasma. And then LWO has been vastly uh, expanded. So we've got Rey Mysterio, Carlito, we've got Andrade, um, Bad Bunny, Cruz, Del Taro, Dragon Lee, Epico, Joaquin Wild, Kalisto, Metalik, Primo, Ray Horace, Selena Vega, and Ray Mysterio Sr. Oh, you can hear, yeah, you can hear me. I can hear, yeah, just couldn't hear what you're doing. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see what you're doing. Sorry, mate. Okay, I apologise. Right, you can see now, though, so hopefully everything will work out. I've just got to keep remembering to add a screen every time. Um, I've decided to start my own little stable for women. So we've got Chelsea Green, Mandy Rose, Piper Niven, and Sonia Deville. They're called the A-List. The Bloodline, obviously you've got... Roman Reigns, The Rock, Jimmy Uso, Solo Sakoi, Afra uh, Sakoi, um, Hikolo, and Samu Alofa with Paul Heyman managing them. Brawling Brutes I've added, which is Seamus, Eric, Ivar, Killian Dane, Nikki Cross, and Vahala. I've decided to bring the Hurt business back, and we've got Bobby Lashley, Angelo Dawkins. Apollo Cruz, Montez Ford, B Fab, and Leo Rush. Judgment Day is pretty. Sokoa. What did I say? Did I say Sokoi? Sorry, I meant Sokoa. I apologise. I butcher names all the time. Hello, Bazinga. Nice to see you again. You're actually playing uh, FM. Bloody hell. Who are you managing? Um. So we've got Judgment Day. For a laugh, I've got Rhea Ripley as the leader and I've got R-Truth as the deputy and then all the members are the same. Damien Priest, Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor and JD McDonough. The New Day is pretty straightforward. They're not going to change. Um, and then I've, I've started my own little stable just for the just for the lols and just because I think it'll be funny. And I've got, they're called War Dogs and Karen, sorry, Baron Corbin is the leader and then Bron Breaker and... Bill Goldberg is support. So Bill Goldberg will tag up with one of these two at times, but he'll also be their manager. So they're basically, just think of like a real badass tag team. Um, badass stable, sorry. And then so far we've got the Wyatt family that I've rebooted. And we've got Uncle Howdy, Alexa Bliss, and Cameron Grimes as the lackey. So there you go. I have been very busy in between the last time we spoke. Uh... Can you see that? Yeah, you can see the tag teams. Karen Corbin. Yeah, we'll call him Karen Corbin. There you go. 
Yeah, nice to see quite a few people near today. I do appreciate it. AS Roma. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. How are you getting on with Roma? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested what I'm going to do with the White family as well. Um, there is one wrestler I need to find on here that I might need to bring in if I can. I forgot to bring him in, I think. Why won't it let me search? Oh, no. I'm looking for uh, Eric Redbeard. AKA Eric Rowan. I need to mute me mic. Not mute me mic, sorry. Mute the things. That sound will keep going off. Is it Redbeard his name? is Redbeard, isn't it? On here. There you go, Eric Redbeard. So, spoiler alert, if we can sign Eric Redbeard, he will be part of it. Um, I kind of regret getting rid of Braun Strowman now. Let me see if I can bring him in. Yep, yeah, I can bring Braun Strowman in. Uh, he wants more money though, greedy bugger. Oh, for God's sake. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a new CEO, because I'm obviously the booker, and it's uh, Robert, it's, um, hold on. Robert Rodriguez, the famous director who obviously was part owner of Lucha Underground. Oh, does that mean I can't go for Eric Rowan now? That's a shame. Okay, I won't bother with Eric Rowan or Braun Strowman then. I'll make a new stable where... Withdraw. There we go. Right. We won't have any original members in there, even though technically Alexa Bliss was with Great White, but she was never in the bright in the White family. No, I know it's not that. It's just it's just not realistic, is it? I'm trying to keep it realistic, Josh. I know what you're saying. I could always bring them in later on or something at some point. Um. But yeah, if you've got any, if you've got any people, any wrestlers that you think might be good in the, ah, I've just thought of one. I've just thought of one. There you go. Right, Shotzi's been added. I need to turn her heel though. Uh, just bear with us. There you go, Shotzi. Baby face. I need to turn her heel. There's quite a few wrestlers I've got to turn at some point. I don't want to do them all in one go because it'll just cock it all up. Yeah, I don't know how I did it either. I don't know whether it was just an error on this database because obviously this database is um, a while ago, even though me and Josh has updated it. Um, I should have looked at the uh, the New Japan contract situations and I should have put him on like an exclusive written contract, but he wasn't on a exclusive written contract. So, um, yeah, so I I've, I've took advantage of it for this save. So I've got him and Okada in there. No, mate, it's all right. I should have done it as well. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Don't, don't, don't blame yourself. Um, sorry, Bazinga, by the way. I do feel sorry because you kind of get lost in the shuffle when we chat at times. I do apologize, mate. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you keep coming in and saying hello. I do appreciate it. Just with me, Josh, and Dave just waffle on about wrestling. <laughs> so you have to kind of really be into it to keep up with us, I think. Um, right. I don't think there's anything else I need to update you with, as far as I can remember. 
Or is there? Oh, there is. There is. I forgot to tell you. Uh, Josh, how do I... Hello, Alexis uh, Pyrrhus. Nice to, nice to hear from you. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, Dave. It's just, it's just, if I could, um, I mean, I can put it to a vote. Do you, shall, shall I get rid of Tanahashi's contract? Do you want me to terminate it? Let me know. You post it. We don't, I don't like the final testament, Alex, uh, Alex, sorry. I need to call you Alexis, though. I do apologize. Alex, I don't, I don't like the final testament. I can't stand, um, I can't stand, um, Carrying Cross. Yeah, who'd be signed, Buzz? Uh, I'll put it up to vote. If you want me to, if you want me to be, what do you want me to be? As realistic as possible. What I could do is try and be realistic as possible um, up until WrestleMania. And then after WrestleMania, we can do some fantasy booking. We'll try and keep it as current as possible, but then we can just go crazy after that. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's good? Dave, Josh, let me know. Is that is that Rocco the 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 puppet that 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 Paul Ledderin used to have when um, Legions of Doom were in WWE all them years ago in 1992, I think it was. Okay, I've taken on your advice, Dave. There you go. Tanahashi's gone. So what I'm going to do is I've got rid of Tanahashi. There's no point having Chaos America if there's only two members. So we will delete that stable as well. And then I will cancel Shinsune Nakamura's turn. We'll keep him healed because I was only going to turn him babyface to go with Chaos. You can instead maybe feud with uh, feud with Okada. I might add that to Elimination Chamber, I think. In fact, what? Yeah, because is there Okada on Raw or is he on SmackDown? In fact, what? Are you on Raw or are you on SmackDown? You're on, you're on no brand. You're supposed to be on Raw. Are you on Raw? Yeah, he's on Raw. Okay. So we're going to add a new storyline. Hold on, let me check the chat first. Sorry, I do apologise. Yeah, but he hasn't technically... The reason why I signed a Carter is because whenever they bring out another day or update, he's most likely going to be with AEW. Even though there's strong rumours that he's signed, nothing's been confirmed yet. So technically, I thought I can technically still sign Okada. Yeah, that would be a good um, a good tag team match, Alex. Good idea. Nice to uh, nice to have somebody new in the group as well. Tell us a bit about yourself, Alex. Where are you from? How old are you? What what football teams you support? What wrestlers are your favourites? You know, just give us some something about you if you don't mind. Unless you don't want to, it's fine. But I appreciate you contributing as well. Oh, Espanol. That's it. Hola. That's the only word I know. Sorry. What football teams you sport? Yeah, Dave, I'll try and make it as realistic as possible. Um, but like, there's always a chance Okada could technically still go to WWE, even though it probably more likely he is going to AEW. But because until he signed that contract, I didn't bother. There is other situations like... Mercedes Monet is on the AEW, AEW roster. I could have left her uncontracted, but there was like big rumours um, I've seen before I started it to say that, that she has actually signed a contract with AEW and they're just waiting to debut her. Whereas a Carter, it's just rumours about where he could be going. There's nothing been concrete yet that I've heard. 
yeah but dave after that obviously i'll try and make it realistic as possible and then for it towards wrestlemania but it's a game at the end though we're just gonna have a bit of fun with it and we we can use a bit of creative license at times as well right we need to do okada versus nakamura this only be a short few to elimination chamber basically I have other plans in mind for Mr. Okada for WrestleMania, but I won't tell him just yet. Rebook mm, in. Where is Elimination Chamber? There we go. Actually, I might not have might not have enough space for that match at, rest, at Elimination Chamber. Actually, it could be a short match, couldn't it? We could always do it as a short match. Just to give people a little preview of Okada. Right, there we go. We'll do fifteen minutes. That no, would we'll do seventeen minutes. I'll leave that blank for now, let you keep you guessing, even though you probably know what's going to happen. No, no, no. Steal the show. There we go. So I do steal the show for that one, Josh, do you reckon? Sorry, Alex, let me catch up with what you said. Do you remember a Viginati they had on? Uh, is that to do with Rocco coming back? I remember there was rumours about him coming back, weren't there? Oh no. Uh, Baz, what? Your missus has broke up with you. Oh, Bazinga, I'm so sorry, mate. I thought you two were really close. Oh, mate. I'll tell you what, when you want to get yourself back out there, though, Dave, Dave, um, the wrestling guy, who we call Dave on here, because that's his name, the wrestling guy in the chat, he's the man to ask about women. I tell you now, he's doing very... He's got twins, mate. He's got two girlfriends. Oh, Baz, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, I feel, I feel sad now. You're really happy with her as well. Maybe you could, uh, maybe you could take that Korean housemate of yours out on a date. Maybe you know she said you said she's good at cooking. Ah, oh, poor Baz. Sorry, mate. Right, that's that. Right, let's go about booking a match, uh, booking a show now. What do you reckon? I'm not going to try and copy. Oh no, I better actually for for the rumble. Oh yeah, she's got a boyfriend, isn't she? Well, have a word with the wrestling guy. He'll tell you how to get twins, and then that way you've always got a backup. Just uh, bear with us. I'm trying to find the results for the uh, January 2nd Raw. January 22nd Raw, sorry. Right, there we go. Um...
All right, sorry, let me catch up with the chat first. Dave, Dave, keep your smuttiness, please. I don't want to get my channel kicked off, thank you. Let's keep it PG. <laughs> Yeah, Dave, maybe, you know, keep that to yourself from now on, please. Right, uh, let me start booking this show. Right. So, according to this, the match that kicked off Raw was Imperium versus the New Day. There we go, Imperium. No, it wasn't that New Day, it was that one. I'll do that. Uh, apparently, it ended. It was only literally about two weeks ago, I can't remember. Double count out. So, we do open match, all in the ring, all out match. Slow build, overbook. Where's double count? Should we just do count? It's count on finish, isn't it? Count on finish. There we go. No, Dave, don't worry about it. I'm just saying, just be a bit careful what you're posting on here, mate. That's all. I don't mind. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a prude. Um, just in case it gets me channel barred. But yeah, you didn't. You didn't do anything bad. Don't worry. No, don't worry about it, Baz. It's not your fault. At the end, of the day, I appreciate you telling me. I just feel a bit sad because you. You two were getting, you two seem so like happy together. Right, next match is Ivy Nile versus Vahala. Uh, uh, 9 one open, open match script it because they're not the best of workers. Vahala is furious. Well, Vahala, you're just going to have to get over it, ain't you? Did you, say, did you say she cheated? Oh, mate. Oh, say. Sorry for swearing, everyone. Um, by, the way, I got, by the way, I nearly got a copyright strike on here. Because when I uploaded the replay of the Twitch stream from the other day, I had at the start, I put the Rocks theme tune on. And then I realised, like, after that song, I was like, oh, I better not play any more WWE theme tunes. And then, luckily, WWE accepted it. We were okay with it. Because it didn't come up as a uh, as a copyright strike, they were okay with it. It was just I thought it was quite surprising. Right, next match was Dominic Mysterio versus The Miz. We'll do storytelling for that match. Open match on that one. Script all that match. Slow build overbooked. We'll do. Uh, where's it? interference?
interference. There we go. Actually, we'll do distraction. We'll have Rhea Ripley. Oh, yep, yeah, so that's that. Miz is not happy about losing to Dominic Mysterio, which I can totally understand. I wouldn't be friends with uh, Bazinga. Oh, the, me playing the Rocks tune, Dan. Yeah, I know. I didn't think about it. I thought I'll just put some wrestling theme tunes on. Completely forgot. Bloody copyright bullshit. Uh, yeah, I, I won't do that again. I can play the Hardy Boys theme tune, though, because that's royalty free. So, unless AEW now owns it, because I know that they play it on AEW, but. Yeah, that was. Uh, there is some wrestling songs that are actually royalty free that I can play. But yeah, luckily I'm not that big of a big of a creator yet, so I might edit the video and just edit it out at some point. But there's no hassle. Got six people in here now, doing well. Thank you, everyone. I do appreciate you joining in. Josh, you're my unofficial mod. If any, we any weirdos come into the chat and start spouting shit, just get rid of them. <laughs> I need to make you official mod, though, to do that. So you'll have to, I'll, I'll message you later. We'll figure it out. Right, next match is Ivar versus Chad Cable. I don't know why they booked Ivar to beat Chad Cable before. We're not doing that. We're changing it. We'll do, is it tainted win? No, cheat win, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do a cheat win. EQ finish. Interference, we'll do, uh, what's his name? Eric, there you go. Right, let me just check the chat again. Yeah, you're definitely on an unofficial mod at the moment, um, Josh. I mean, right hand man, mate. I'm, I'm very um, lucky to have you as a friend and also helping me on here, so I do appreciate it. Right, next match is Baszler and Zoe Star beating Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. I don't think that was a very long match. We'll just keep that as 10 minutes. No, we won't. We'll, we'll make it less than that. It might, I know it would probably be a penalty against me, but yeah. Right, Shayna, Zoe, Indy, Candice. There you go. Uh, I need to add Candice LeRae and Indy Hart was a tag team in a minute. We'll do dominated win for uh, them. We'll do uh, script submission finish. Right, I just need to add Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell as a tag team. Uh, Indy Hartwell. We'll call them the way. Because that's what they were called in the next T. There you go.
not just a place where I play wrestling and football games. We're here to give each other uh, relationship advice. There you go. You can call me Dr. Love. Right, last match. The main event was Drew McIntyre versus Damian Priest. Which was a weird one, really, because they were both heels at the time, weren't they? I and Drew McIntyre. We'll do this at uh, 23 minutes. Drew won. Uh, we'll do... Storytelling for that one as well. Open match. Call in the ring. All that match. Slow build. Overbook. Decisive win. We'll do distraction. And we'll have Damien Priest distracted by our truth Because that's what probably happened in, in the on the match itself, if I remember. Right, so now we've got to fill up a bit of space. Oh, we need to switch this to the top. Right, so... We need to put some interviews in there in a minute. Let me just catch up with the chat first. Yeah, it is, I oh, know. Um, if you want, lads, I can I can literally hide the screen while I'm booking it, and then when I do the show, so I do that instead after this show. Obviously, you already know what happens on this one. But after this one, what I can do is I can get rid of this screen so you can't see what's going on. And then what I can say to you is, like, just chat between yourselves for five, ten minutes while I quickly do it. Because then that way I'm not keep. If I, I'll, it won't take me long to do if I do it like that then as well. Have a think. Let me know. I will actually. Yeah. No, I will do that from now on. In fact, let me get rid of. Um, right, let me get rid of this. Hold on. If I get rid of this, I'm worried it might get rid of the whole thing. Right, if I do that. Oh, no. That one, isn't it? Ah, there we go. If we do that. There you, no, then no, you can't see anything, then. Don't want that. Uh... If I do that, and then do this, oh no, there you go, you'll have to see my ugly face for two minutes. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, and then next time what I'll do is when I, um, if I've got a chance, when I start the next stream, I'll already have the next show booked. So, yeah, we'll do it like that for now. Oh, Dave, flattery will get you everywhere. Hey? I am being, I am being, your, I am being your third partner. You've got enough on your hands with the twins, mate. Right, give me a couple of minutes while I'm figuring out all this.
Yeah, be careful what you put on this chat, by the way, just in case it might potentially get you in trouble legally. So when you're saying about your sister and all that, that bazinga, I'm just thinking of you, mate. That's all. Same with um, you just gotta be. Just don't say what you, you don't say anything that could potentially get you in trouble. That's, that's all I'm saying. Let's uh. I don't mean that like you don't like I know like you're frustrated and you're just saying that your sister wants to give her a slap. I just don't want it to in case it comes back to bite you in the arse legally, that's all. I'm probably just probably overthinking it, but I just like to be a bit careful with things like that. Right, Ivar versus That Peruvian player looks pretty good, Bazinga. Yeah, he looks like a good player. Right, let me just have a quick look. Uh, no, I still need to do a bit more. That's just better with us. Ugh, so annoying, this WWE style. I just want to put matches. I don't want to bother with the other ones. Change the product, but it still won't. It's still making me do it. Right, let me just have a quick of the chat. Dave, don't make me tell you again. I will give you a third strike and then you're out. I'm just letting you know. Stop with the sauciness. We get it. You're a horny bugger. Right, I nearly finished this, lads. 
But it does take a while, doesn't it? Frustrating. Right. I've got to book another... I've got to book another 20 minutes. Uh, and I've got to... Hold on. I'm going to do another match. Do Seth Rollins. Oh, sorry. In the settings now. Sorry, I apologise. Just bear with us, I won't be long now. Sorry about this. Right, so just need to do a quick one more angle. Right, now I can show you the, there we go, you don't have to, you can't see my face anymore. Oh, this is annoying, why is it not letting me, oh, I don't, I don't know what it, I need, I need to do this first, don't I? I need to do that, put that over here, for now, and then put this over here, like so, uh, where is my camera, and then, do that there you go right are we happy are we ready to go it only took us about an hour <laughs> near it let me just quickly chat up with the, let me just quickly check up with the catch Yeah, I know. That's what I'll do next time, lads. I'll, um... What I could do is also, I could try and maybe, if I get the chance, pre-book. Pre-book it or something, so it makes it a little bit easier. But I'll try. Yeah, I'll try and do that from now on, lads. I know it's a bit of a piss. It's just, it's just teething problems while I get used to figuring out how to stream the game. Yeah, I could do that as well. Like I said, I could pre-book it. Yeah. But right, we started the show. Um, so there was an argument between Imperium and New Day. Obviously, this seemed to go down well. Uh, in a bout that had good wrestling, in a bout that had great good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd, New Day defeated Imperium in 18 minutes when. Ludwig Kaiser was counted out while fighting Xavier Woods. I meant to do a double count out, but I did count out by accident, so there you go. Uh, apparently, JTG... Um, so JTG needs to go to NXT. We need to send David Otunga to NXT as well after this show. So... 
Yeah, you were right. Whoever was right about David the Tongue, I think it was you, Josh, wasn't it? Send David Otunga and Jason Paul to NXT. Right, I'm just putting that in the chat so I can remember. All right, let's spare with us. Right, okay, let's crack on. It is what it is, but they got a 74 rating, so <clears throat> if they had a better road agent and that and a better announcer, that's at least that's good. Uh, they could probably get an 80 match, maybe. So, um, right, so we did an angle where Seth Rollins and Finn Balor argue. Uh, apparently, Finn Balor struggled when he was going off script. Again, David Otunga was very weak, but that got a 92 rating. So that's really good. 92 rating, yeah. Um, Ivy Nile and Vahala argue in the ring or backstage. So that didn't do as well. Only a 40. Uh, doesn't have the, Ivy Nile doesn't have the microphone skills to be taken. Talking for this length of time. So I think it was only about eight minutes long, wasn't it? Yeah, so we might, we just need to do shorter interview segments with her involved. And she doesn't do well without a script. So we need to remember to script her promos. Right, so in a bout that had in a bout that had good heat and decent wrestling, Dominic Mysterio defeated the Miz in 19 minutes by pinfall with a 619. During the match, we also had Rhea Ripley distract the Miz. Basically, Dominic Mysterio won with distraction uh, from Rhea Ripley. Dominic Mysterio was held back by the chaotic nature of the match. I think I did storyline for this uh, storytelling for this one, so maybe he didn't like that. So. Uh, just make note of that, that as well. Yeah, Finn Balor needs to be scripted. So we're, we're looking at, I need to, where's the, uh, there's a note, isn't there a note section here somewhere? Oh, I'll have a look at, I'll check it afterwards. Somewhere here, isn't it, where you can add notes? It used to be, maybe they don't do it anymore. Ah, back to booking screen, maybe? Oh no, sorry, I shouldn't have clicked, I shouldn't have clicked off that. Um, in a, ball, in a bout that had subpar wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, Ivy Nile defeated Vahala in 14 minutes and 44 seconds. So uh, yeah, so that wasn't very good. Obviously, I'm trying to book it realistically, like what they're doing at the moment in real life. Moving forward, Ivy Nile and Vahala won't be featured as much. So Brutus and Julius don't have the microphone skills. Uh, same with Maxine Dupree. Chad Gable looked good though. So did Otis, which is good. A potential uh, face turn for Brutus, uh, Brutus Creed was hinted at during the segment. So I, I just turn him? Can I turn him? Oh, I can't turn him face. Let me just check the chat two seconds. No, that's right. Just checking. Right. So in a bolt that, and I keep saying bolt. It's bout, isn't it? In a bout that had great heat and decent wrestling, Chad Gable defeated Ivar in 17 minutes 31 seconds when Ivar was disqualified when Eric ran in and attacked Chad Gable. Uh, Ivar and Chad Gable don't click at all, showed their performance. They only got 64 ratings, so we got to try and remember not to put them in a match again. In a, in a, in a bout that had decent wrestling, little heat, the Hunters, which is Shayna and Zoe, Defeated the way, which is Candice and Indy. When Shayna Baszler submitted Indy Hartwell with an armbar. So uh, it was short and sweet. Um, did well there. Uh, this was meant to do the. I was, I was supposed to have this before the match. I forgot to switch them around. We'll just ignore that. Right. Drew McIntyre cut a promo on Damien Priest. It got an 80 rating, all green, which is good. He's got a new catchphrase. So it'll probably be the biggest, it'll probably be the most over person on the roster before you know it. Drew McIntyre is a godsend. We need to put him in more segments like this, I think. Right, in a, in a good match, Drew McIntyre defeated Damian Priest 22 minutes 53 seconds by pinfall 
with a scalp drop. During the match, we also had a R-Truth Distract Priest. So basically, obviously with this real life storyline, a day and new, new yeah, the Judgment Day always getting distracted by our truth. So yeah, David Atunga was pretty weak. Only got a seventy-one match rating. The match dragged at the end, so obviously it was too long. Um, because I think I clicked on a, I think I clicked on, I didn't, I, I did something. I think it was like a, I think I clicked on. Steal the show. I did steal the show, which they didn't like, so I need to keep it basic with them next time. Rhea Ripley did some good work at ringside. Drew McIntyre and Damian Priest benefit from having a round swell of public support. Right, and in the main event, in an exceptional match, Seth Rollins uh, defeated Finn Balor in 21 minutes 50 seconds by pinfall with the curb stomp. So he's made defence number two of the championship. Uh, obviously, as always, David Otunga was weak. They deserve better announcing, deserve better colour commentary. The match dragged at the end because it was too long, so we might need to shorten that up next time. Right, and that's the show done. At least it's better than the last one. The last one was like 70 or 72. So we still lost popularity, but it's learning curve at the end of the day. All out matches can only go 15 minutes. So if I go over 15 minutes, it just goes another chaotic match. I think I only, I think I accidentally did two steal the show matches. I need to just keep that simple because I remember you telling me last time. Yeah, I need to get rid of JTG and David Otunga. So I need to get rid of them. Just wait for this slow. But yeah, cheers for your help, everyone. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, thank you for everybody sticking with it so far. Right. Let's see if you can... S Hopefully you can't see. Yeah. So, right, I'm just going to go. I've got, I made a few more signings. I'll just quickly let you know which ones I've signed that are worth mentioning about at the moment. Probably nobody really. Mostly, they're mostly all for, uh, yeah, they're all for basically uh, NXT anyway. I've signed, I'm going after Tangalo and uh, Tamatonga. So, they'll be a big tag team on, uh, yeah, big tag team. Um, on WWE moving forward. For some reason, I just got a news item from Ace Steel that's giving his opinion on Rikishi, saying Rikishi's unsafe in the ring. I didn't have Rikishi in any of that match, did I? In any of that show, did I? He was not in any of that show. Why is it telling me that now? Uh, no, Bazinga. I haven't watched the match. I know the result, though. Um... I've got, I'm going to watch match of the day at some point. Okay, Josh, I'll uh, I'll look into that road agent thing offline when I've afterwards when I've finished, so so we can make sure. Right then, just delete them. Um, uh, right, just fast forward it now. We got, we haven't got a show now for three days. I've just got to fix a few morale issues. We've got we some of them. Uh, the Miz isn't happy after losing the last match, so. Just got to bung him a bit of money, keep him happy. Bear with us two seconds. Oh, for God's sake, Miz, will you just stop being a moody bugger? There you go, that'll make you happy. Oh my God. 
I've given him so much money, the Miz, and he doesn't want... He, he's still moody. There we go, he's happy now. It cost me an absolute fortune then just to cheer him up. Uh... Right, there's nothing else there. Right, so I'm just going to forward it now. Anyway, what's everyone having? Oh, I need to do it in a second, don't I? I'll do it after this when it's loaded. Yeah, Dave, I'll be doing another show, but unfortunately, I haven't pre booked it. So you just, what I'll do is, I'll, I won't show you the booking screen. And you just have to give me like five, ten minutes while I quickly do it. Yeah, I'll sort out David Otonga and JTG in a minute. I completely forgot. Thank you for really reminding me. Right, I'll do it now. Do it now before I forget. David Otunga, you are off. You're off to do to improve. So, announcers, let's just quickly check the announcers. The Raw, just stick to two men. We'll just stick to two men. And we'll just have... Oh no, we'll have Moro Renaro. Moro Renaro. I'll have him on there. Um, who should we have, actually? Let me just see if there's anybody worth having on the announce team. Nah, we'll just leave it as two, man. Right, so that's that done. We'll just skip another day. Oh, oh well done. So we've signed a few rest of wrestlers. We've signed Tamatonga. We've signed Ted DBRC, uh, the Million Dollar Man. Um, as like a manager or, or I haven't figured it out yet. We've signed a few other wrestlers. We've signed Kevin Kelly. So I'll actually I'll actually put Kevin Kelly with Michael Cole and Pat McAfee on Raw. We've signed Tully Blanchard, we've signed Tyler Breeze, uh signed Wesley Blake, obviously signed Tamatonga. So let's just go to announcers. Raw. Kevin Kelly. I know he's not the greatest commentator in the world, announcer in the world, but I think he'll do well with Michael Cole and Pat McAfee, I reckon. Let me just check the chat, sorry. You can't see anything. Yeah, oh, there's a reason for that, because I don't want to spoil it for you. But I forgot to do it. So I forgot to... I'm, I'm talking about it as I'm doing it, so, so don't worry. It's just little voice. I've got to keep getting rid of the screen and then moving the screen and then get rid of the screen. It's just, just bear with us. What's Kevin Kelly's skills for announcing in colour? Okay, just bear with us. Uh, right, I'll add that screen. I'll add, I'll add it, Dave. Don't worry, I'll add it. Um, click, hold on, let me click on the roster first. Let me just show Josh. So, where is he? Kevin Kelly... It down here. Announcing is eighty two ninety, so that's good. His colour's only thirty one thirty nine though. So uh, uh, yeah, so there you go. You can see that though, can't you? No, you can't. Sorry, I just realised you can't see it. So bear with us. So annoying this is, isn't it? There you go. Right, so do that so you can see that. There you go, Josh. No, and well, yeah, it does. It saves the screen, yeah, but then what happens is when I book the shows, I've got to move that screen and I so don't spoil it for you lot so you can see what I'm doing. I have an attribute masking on, do I? 
Oh yeah, it does. It says like predicted, doesn't it? But I mean, the worst case scenario, he's got 82 in announcing, so he's he's more than qualified. So Dave, just let me go through the announcers again because you didn't see the screen before. Let me just do that. And can you see? Yeah, there you go. So we've got on the events, we've got Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and Pat McAfee for the pay per views. On the Raw brand, we've got Michael Cole, Pat McAfee, and Kevin Kelly. On the SmackDown brand, see, Mauro Renara has got 90, 98 in announcing, and he's got decent colour, so he'll be a good addition as well. So he'll improve that as well. Uh, Raw TV, the same. SmackDown TV, the same. So, Josh, you were saying about road agents, weren't you? So how do I... Right, so what attributes have I got to look for for uh, a good road agent? I can turn it off, can I? How do you turn off? All right, before you tell me about what attributes for road agent, how do you turn off? I assume it's in options, isn't it? Right, options. Let me check what you've put. Preferences, yeah. Your preferences, ah, there we go, okay. Why can't I find attribute? Where is it on here? What's it called in here? Scouting. I've got enable scouting. Do I, do I untick that? I've got an, I've got scouting enabled. What do I do? Any idea? So I untick it then. So untick it. I untick it, I assume. So untick it. Right, and then we'll just have a look at the roster now and see what it is. There you go. We fixed it. Yeah, there you go, everyone. Right, so let's look at Kevin Kelly again now, so you've got a better idea. If there's anybody else you want me to look at, let me know, and I'll quickly show you. Uh, Kevin Kelly. We've got 85 in announcing, so that's good. Let's have a quick look at Moro. Where are you, Moro? Moro, Renaro. He's got 95 in announcing, so very good. So, right, let's have a look at road agents. Let's see who... You want to look at Pat? Okay. Right, let's have, I'll have a look at Pat for you quickly. Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee announcing is zero, his colour is 80, so he's, he's good enough. Right, let me quickly check what you put. All roadies need 80 in all four categories. Right, so what's the four categories again, Josh, so it saves me scrolling up. Sorry, right. Psychology, experience, respect, and rep. Okay. They're all listed in a row, so it's easy to see. Okay. Psychology. You say, oh, there we go. Right, and let's see who we find. So AJ Styles would be a good road agent, so I'm going to ask him to be a road agent from now on. 
Yeah, so he's a road agent. Arn Anderson, he's already a road agent. Yeah. Oscar would be a road agent, so I'm going to ask her. Bret Hart's already a road agent. I'll just double check. Yeah. Devon obviously is a road agent. Finley's a road agent. John Cena, he could be a road agent. So I'm going to ask him to be... Oh, he's already a road agent. That was a stroke of luck by me, that was, because I asked him to be a road agent. Randy Orton could be a good road agent, which is, which is actually a good idea. So he's going to be a road agent. Rey Mysterio could be a good road agent. Ricky Steamboat's already a road agent. Seamus could be a road agent. I think he's already a road agent anyway. Oh, no, he ain't. There you go. He's now a road agent. Nakamura could make a good road agent, so we'll ask him as well. Steve Austin, I think, is already a road agent. Yeah. Ted DiBiase Sr. could be a good road agent. He is. So that was a good sign-in in the end. The Rock could be a good road agent. Oh, he already is a road agent. That's fine. Triple H is a road agent. Tully Blanche is a road agent, I think. And so is William Regal. Yeah, so there you go. So let's see who we've got as road agents now. Uh, we'll eliminate the ones. Oh, I need to reset this, don't I? I wish I could have the chat on the screen so I can talk to you instead of having to keep going across. Yeah, I'm going to remove the bad ones, don't worry. Let me just double check what you've put, Josh. Cheers, you're up, mate. Is your recurrent wrestlers being raised? It's that they have a match they can't be in road as you show. Retired as raised too. You do need retired. Okay, that's fine. Right. Let's click on this now. So, anybody that isn't 80 in there, Ah, do you know what we could do then? This is the easiest way we can do it. Uh, oh no, hold on. What am I trying to do? Oh yeah, yeah. We do, we do this. We'll change it to 79. This might take us a while though, by the way. I should do this probably technically offline. Oh no, it's only two. Are these road? Apparently the Dudley brothers are road agents. The um, Devon's kids, road agents. I've got rid of them. It was everybody else 80. Well, that don't make sense, does it? I've done something terribly wrong here. Josh is probably screaming at me. Let me check the chat. Yeah, I'll get rid of, I'll get rid of A Steel. I'll send him to NXT. Is there anybody else on that roster that you can see that I should get rid of? Yeah, Ace is a prick. We don't like Ace. Take Adam. Okay. What about if I go through? Uh, yeah, just let me know. Alison Danger, okay. Did you want me to scroll down? Bad Road Agent, Alison Danger, okay. Anybody else? Want me to scroll down a little bit further down the, the list or are the rest of them okay from what you can see? So many. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do then. Right, so we'll get rid of her as a road agent. Uh, we keep the... What about Billy Kidman? Billy Kidman any good as a road agent? 
If I go too fast with the clicking, just let me know. Billy Kidman, yay, nay. Bad psychology, okay. So we will send him to NXT. We'll let them deal with him. Right. What about Brian Kendrick? He's saying psychology. We've got to find that, haven't we? Psychology on it. Have I just gone past it already? Ah, there we go. He's got 18 psychology, so that's good. Oh, yeah, so he's got 66 in respect, so there's no point, is there? Okay. So at least I know what to look for now. So, yeah, experience 100, but respect 66. I'll send him to NXT. Right, cheerleader Melissa. Psychology 80, experience 80, respect 63, so that's a no. Send her. Chris Hero, psychology, and we're not looking, yeah, um, experience 80, 100, sorry, respect is only 63. What do you reckon with Chris Hero, though? He's got, he's got three out of the four, do you reckon? I know it's so easy for you, I've just figured it out, sorry. <laughs> what about Chris Hero, because he's got, has he got, he's got three out of the four, hasn't he? Or does it nef definitely need to be four? You can just take them off road agency without sending. I oh, know, but a lot of them, I only signed them to be road agents. So that's to be all four. Okay. Uh, so I send him because I don't want him to wrestle. Uh, Curtis Axel, he's probably going to be one that's not very good. Reputation, yeah, respect is not good enough. So we'll send you away. Finley, obviously, is a good one. We we'll keep him. Jack Evans. Uh, psychology, 71. Respect is only 49. Uh, I'll keep James Storm. Let me have a look at his. Yeah, he's only got 66 respect, so we'll take him off as a road agent for now. Just keep him as a wrestler with Robert Roode. Jamie Noval. He's got 78. What do you reckon? Keep him. Let me know. Shall I keep Jamie Noval? Shall I send him to NXT? Because I can't have him as a wrestler. Okay. Right. Jason Jordan. Don't, I don't think he's got... No, only 38 in respect. We'll send him away. Jerry Matthews. Should be pretty decent. Oh, no. He's only got 69 in respect. Send him away. Obviously, John Cena's a good one. Oh, yeah, I signed, I signed Abyss. I've got him as Joseph Park. Um, I forgot to tell you. He hasn't got enough respect to be a road agent, so we'll get rid of him. Okada. I'd love Okada as a bloody road agent, but I don't think he's... Uh, he'd, he'd probably be all right, won't, don't you reckon? Okada would probably just about scrape him, wouldn't he? Who's bad? Not Okada, obviously. I think it was... Uh, yeah, so keep a card as a road agent, yeah. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle's a good road agent. Experience, respect, reputation. Obviously, the only thing that lets him down is psychology. Was it psychology, you said, wasn't it? I'll let you decide. Keep Kurt Angle as a road agent. What do you reckon? So keep him, okay. Uh, Lou Fisto, I don't think she's got enough, no, respect, no. Send her away. Oh, Madison Eagles, let's try her first. Psychology, experience, respect is only 53, so we'll send her away. Melina. A lot of these, it's the respect that lets them down, isn't it? Which is annoying. Come on, Mickey James. Ah, uh, only 61. I'll keep her on the, on the roster as a, uh, as a wrestler. Natalia, only 65, so we'll... 
In real life, Natalia would be a great road agent for the women wrestlers. Randy Orton, obviously. Very Mysterio Senior. Experience, respect. Yeah. I reckon we should maybe keep... No, it's Psychology Zone 68. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's true. I, I understand. Yeah, you two are way more experienced than me in this game. Yeah, we, we'll, uh, we won't have him as a road agent. I think we'll just have him as a occasional. That I need to ask him to be a manager. Uh, manager. There we go. So he's a manager now officially. Ray Mysterio, obviously, we're keeping him. Uh, psychology respect lets him down. Other than that, he was he's doing he's doing pretty well there in them. Three out of the four. Ricky Steamboat should be okay. Yeah, Ricky Steamboat, a hundred. But yeah, Ricky Steamboat is the perfect bloody road agent, isn't he? Ricky Steamboat is amazing. Right, Rikishi. No, his respect's not enough, so we'll take him off there. I've, I'll ask him to be a manager, though. Oh, wrong one. I meant to click on that. Actually, in fact, we'll have him as... Oh, for God's sake. Right. Ah! I know what I'm doing, I promise. Right, okay. Wanted to be occasional wrestler and manager. We'll get rid of him as a full-time wrestler. Right, Robert Roode. Psychology is pretty good. His experience is the only thing that lets him down, unfortunately, which is a shame, really. Rockstar Spud. Psychology is pretty good. Respect lets him down. Send him to NXT. Let me just quickly check the chat, sorry. Also in the game, it takes a long time to get respect, so active workers don't normally have super high respect yet. Okay, fair enough. Cheers to the, the, the info, Josh. Like I said, I, am, I haven't played this game as much as you. I, Josh knows what I'm like with this game. I get a bit frustrated with it and I get bored. Um, hence why I'm doing this on Twitch, so I don't get bored. Right, psychology is letting him down, so we'll just send him. Shane Helms. Yeah, Shane Helms is all right. Sean, Sean Spears. Ah, his respect lets him down. Other than that, he would have been all right. Seamus. Yeah, we already know Seamus is good enough. Same as Shinsuke Nakamura. Same as Stone Cold. What about Carino? Yeah, Carino's good enough. Ted DiBiase Sr., again, like Ricky Steamboat 100 and everything. Perfect uh, road agent. The Rock's good enough. Triple H is good enough. Tully Blanche is good enough. William Regal's good enough. X-Pac, let's have a look at X-Pac. Ah, uh, his respect lets him down slightly, which is a shame. We'll just get rid of him as that. Right, so that's that done. Right. Shall we have a look and see if anybody... Would be good enough to be an announcer or call a commentator for the future. So we we'll do announcing. We do eighty for announcing. Yeah. So there's only three three people who are good at announcing, and they're the ones we've already got. I just assume we could look at potential announcers. So we have a look at color commentators. See if there's any wrestlers that could be there eventually. CM Punk could be a good color commentator. John Cena, Kurt Angle. Or Heyman, Stone Cold, The Rock. Anybody that could potentially be a good referee? Let's have a look. No. Oh, Ricky Steamboat could be a good referee. Actually, in fact, that's a good idea. Let's talk to Ricky Steamboat about being a referee. Yes, he wants to be a referee. Good. Right. See, I like unearthing some of these things like this. You learn something. There you go. Right then, let's fast forward it a bit now. Uh, let me just quickly check my inbox. Okay. Thank you, Josh, by the way. I do appreciate it, mate. 
If I ever become monetized on here, Josh, I'll uh, I'll send you a check. <laughs> But yeah, hour and a half done. We've only done one bloody stream, one bloody show so far. I'll be a bit quicker next time, I promise. Just bear with us. I just, I just had a sale on the eBay. Sold a fat a fat face macar macaroni style. It's like a fisherman fleece. It's got like a bubbly feel to it. So, sold that for 25 quid. Happy days. Ah, uh, so I'm just letting you know now. I tried to sign Will Ospreay because um, he was under he wasn't under contract with AEW on this one, but he's decided to extend with New Japan, and also tried to sign Zack Sabre Jr., who's done the same. There you go. Oh, apparently Drew Gulak won the... Uh, let's have a look at NXT, actually. Hold on, can you see that? Yeah, you can. All right, let me just extend it a bit so you can see it a bit better. All right, so there you go. Uh, I'll just read it out to you. Just see if any of my any of the people that are signed if they did anything. Pre-show wasn't really worth telling you about. Big Swole had a decent match with um, Lady Frost though. That got a seventy-one rating. Um, there's many matches that stand out. A lot of interviews. Not really any matches that were very good. Amita. Oh, Flamita had a had a good match with Lucas Steele, got an 80 rating, so that's good. Rockstar Spud and Wesley defeated Ben Carter and Jason Paul. That got an 80 as well. And then Drew Gulak beated Duke Hudson in a cage match for the NXT Championship title. That got a 79 rating. That's good. Right, I think we're coming up to the next show now, aren't we? Yeah. Oh no, it's tomorrow. So let me just forward it again. Cheers, Bazinga. No worries, mate. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. No, I'll be on tomorrow, 2 p.m. But yeah, thank you for joining in. I know it's not the type of game you usually play. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you contributing. And I'm I'm so sorry about you and your you and your partner breaking up. But the grass, you know, sometimes. Things aren't meant to happen, but you 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 you're doing well to get over it as well as you can. I'd be all over the place, so you you're better than I am. The fair play to you. But enjoy the rest of your day, mate. All the best. I'll speak to you soon. For some reason, Tiffany Stratton. I don't know if it's the Tiffany Stratton. Oh, yeah. Tiffany Stratton's gone to Defy. So, though, ah, Jacob Fatu has gone with New Japan. That's annoying. He's extended his contract there. Oh, Scott Steiner's been released. Ah. Uh, Scott, Scott Steiner doesn't want to come to WWE. That's a shame. I don't know if you can see that. Could you see the inbox items then? Um, right, Smackdown's coming up now. Backstage incidents. Here we go. Oh, I release is... Oh, that's all right. I release was brought to wrestling court, accused of being absorbed by the phone when she should have been paying attention. Locker room meeting, the judge, Ray Mysterio, found her guilty and sentenced her to buy a crate of beer for the locker room. I release Velez has the driven personality and is currently happy. So there you go. 
uh, this incident had a small positive impact upon I release. So that's nice that they worked out well. Who's currently absent? Uh, okay, right. Here's an option for you, everyone. Shall I auto book this show? What do you reckon? Yes or no? You want to see what the AI does? <laughs> Okay, all right, Josh. Okay, no, it's fine. I just thought. <laughs> actually, so I just do it for a laugh. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to see what it does. I'm not going to actually, like, do it, do it type of thing. Um, if I just book the whole show and then I can just delete it afterwards. Should we have a look? There you go. So Apollo Crews beat TK Cooper in the pre-show match. Naomi and Charlotte Flair versus Legrado Del Fantasma, which is Electro Lopez and Ivelisse. I think that was... They defeated. Sorry. No, they didn't. It just says the... There's no winner or... Oh, these are just matches. There's no, there's no booking on it. Apparently, Kevin Owens beat Sid Cecilia. Sid Cecilia is somebody that I signed to go to NXT. So, yeah. I oh, know Xbox, Xbox and Beer Money defeated. Oh, I so want, I so want Xbox and Beer Money in a stable now. Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them in a stable. It's going to be done. No, I don't want to modify. What have I done? Um, no. It's got to be done, isn't it? Any, any. What do you reckon? Give us some names. Josh, Dave, give us some names for stables for X Pac and Beer Money. Xbox Ladida, obviously. No, that's rubbish, Josh. Come on. Give me something better than that. Let me see if there's like a, a random name generator. Random wrestling stable name generator. There we go. The new KO gang. No, I don't like the sound of that. Blazing Vigilante Rollers, no. International West Coast Posse, no. Oh, this is one's rubbish, this one. No, they're all rubbish. They're all got... No, I'm going to see what else you put. All right, come on, let's keep these... I'm not doing anything until we think of a perfect name for them. Dave, are you still with us? Give us a suggestion. I feel like me and, me and Josh are the only ones in here now. Ah, oh, I've got the perfect one. Six pack. There you go. Six pack. Six pack of beer. There you go. Six pack. There we go. I'm going to see if there's a, a six pack logo I can find quickly. Six pack logo. Oh, it's all just bloody muscly men. Hold on. If I put six pack beer logo. There you go. Uh, we go with the Heineken. Ah, oh, here you go. Six pack beer club. There you go. All right, that's a good little image. I uh, just need to add it. Bear with us. Pictures. 2024 logo, typing six pack. Right, that's that. Let's just quickly check what you put. 
Three Nights in China. Trust you to come out with that. I bet that's your favourite bloody film, that is. There you go, six packs. Bloody Dave. <laughs> There we go. Does anybody like the logo? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right, we now got to figure out if they're all on the same rost and the same. I think they're on the same show, aren't they? So that's fine. Are they also? I think they're all heels. So we'll leave as that. It's a nice little logo, isn't it? I like that. So there you go. Um, I'm tempted to run this show now. There you go, six pack. They've even got their own name now. I'm not having Kevin Owens versus Sid, Sil Cecilia, even though it's only five. Oh, it's only five minutes. It'll be a squash match, won't it? Domination, Kevin Owens. Uh, let's have a look at the other matches. Loads of angles, though. It depresses me. All these angles. A Town Down Under, which is obviously Austin Theory and Grayson Waller versus the Street Profits. That should be a good tag team match. Well, about a million different angles. Bad Bunny versus AJ Styles. And then Ronda Rousey versus Bailey. So we're going to get rid of all these now. Clear bookings. But I am going to have a six man match now. He does look like a bit like X Pop, doesn't he? Uh, sod it. I'm just going to fantasy book this one. I'm not going to stick to the... We're having a we're having six pack in there. A new favourite group. You can't. Oh, you can see this, can't you? Let me just check. Oh, you can. Hold on then. Right, let me get rid of this so you can't see it. Sorry, everyone. Right, talk amongst yourselves. I will be as quick as I can. Let me know what you're having for your tea. Talk about your... What are you having for your food, you two? Oh, I had a really nice curry on Friday night, but I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to curries. I, I really like korma. That's all right, Dave. You carry on. Just just come along and join in when you when you want. Um, but yeah, I had a korma curry. And my girlfriend, who is a British Hindu Indian woman, took the mick out of me. Said I was all right, wuss. I just like the, I like creamy curries. I don't like spicy curries that much. I have had spicy curries, I've had gel frazier, I've had a madras, so I'm not a wuss. I just don't like the taste of them, I just prefer korma. Um, Josh, when it comes to, in fact I'll show you on the screen, just for two seconds, Josh. Uh, where is it? Right, if I just show you this, Josh, very quickly. Try not to look at this, Dave, I don't want to spoil it for you. You know when it comes to booking this, do I need to click on script? What do I need to do with this? Yeah, so click script. So everybody's got to be scripted for this, yeah? 
even Xbox. Do I need to filter? Do I need to click on filter, I suppose? Is that right? Clicking on all them, yeah? How do I change that, though? How do I change... You know, it says openness. How do I change that? Is there anything I can do to do that? Freestyle. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on then. There is no freestyle. Or do, do I need to search for it on here? No. Reset. I think I'll just reset, don't I? Hold on. Freestyle. There you go. Freestyle angle. There we go. And then... Yeah, so then... Do I need to fill these two spaces here where it says none at the bottom? We'll just leave it. Okay. See, they're just attacking. They're just attacking, so there's no... So I don't need to script them then. It's just an attack. There's no talking other than maybe, like, a few insults. So it's a fighting angle. Yeah, fighting angle. Yeah, so no scripting. And then where it says rated on... Do I just put... Fighting, don't I? Rated on fighting, yeah? Fighting for people who have a good fight, okay. So do I just put them all as fighting then? Or just just the three that are doing the... So there's only... If there's three of them doing... So yeah, fight, fighting for the ones that are attacking and then selling for the ones that are getting beaten up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, does that... Selling for losing, but only... I feel like you're leaving me here on the cliff. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Right, so we need to look at the roster then. We need to look at... Arlito. Selling is... 80. But he's all right. Epico. Epico selling is 85, so he's okay. Primo. He's selling is 83, so he's okay. So, yeah, so it should be all right, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so all, so all three of the, the Colon brothers... They've got really good selling. Do you, want, do you want me to check? Um, what do I need to check to... Yeah, so just leave us that then, okay. Right, cool. Okay. Do you think that match is too long, by the way? Oh, I think I've done... So, let me just check it. Let me just show you that match. Do you think that's all right for the booking for that match? Would you would you do it a little bit shorter? Because it has got X Park. It's got free. It's got quite a few wrestling and are quite getting on a bit. Have I done anything? I don't. I didn't click. I just got it as regular match. Match is open. We go all out. Do I need to go all out? I don't need to go all out, do I? Pace the match, maybe. You could do fifteen minutes, but. 18 is fine as six men, okay. Old, so maybe 15 just send them all out. No, okay, cool. I'll change the match length. Anything else? I'll change it to 15. Oh, okay, fair enough. So usually just leave it as basically this. Do I do the slow pace though? 
Or do I leave the slow pace? Do I get rid of the slow pace, I mean? Sorry, mate, I got distracted by a message. Uh, you can, if you like, as old will be fine. Okay, that's fine. Right, so that's all right then. We'll leave that. I'll try and do the rest of the show on my own without pestering you too much, but so it doesn't spoil it for you. Um, right, just give us about five, ten minutes. My girlfriend's just messaged me. She's, leave, she's left work, so I've got probably about 20 minutes max now to finish this stream. Let's try and get this show done. Oh uh, yeah, just bear with us. Let's have a look at the storylines. Still here, don't worry. Josh, do I just do most matches as... Oh, let me read what you put first. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right, cheers, mate. Um, So when it comes to the matches now, if I've got... If I just keep it, oh, hold on, hold on, let me think what I'm trying to say. Um, so just do a regular match. Do I do slow pace for every match, or does it not, do, would you, as a rule, would you not usually put it as slow pace? Would you just leave it blank? Or do you always put slow pace? No, so don't put slow pace in every match. Okay, cool, just keep it as it is.
Sorry, mate. Let me just catch up with what you put. Sorry. Uh, let me just so people don't panic when they just see a small screen. Let's just expand that a bit. There you go, everyone. You can see my beautiful mask face. Okay, cheers. Thank you, Dave. I do appreciate it. Uh, right, let's add another. Yeah, you can see what I can see. What? Why can you see that? I thought I moved it. Oh, I moved that, didn't I? That's what I meant to move over here. Sorry, everyone. I apologise if you just saw that. Um, I don't know why my screen's playing up, by the way. Right, okay. Um, TW's near enough crashing for me. I need to close it, I think. I'm hoping it's automatically saving what I put. Uh. Right, I've had to, I've had to end, uh, cancel it. Um, I'm hoping it's automatically saved what I did a, a second ago. It won't take me long to redo it if I need to. Though. All right. Oh, I think it's. I think it's. Um, it didn't save it. Oh. Right, bear with us, everyone. I've got to recreate bloody six pack now as well. It just froze the free the screen just froze. It just wouldn't let me do anything. Right, we've added them. Oh, do you know what? What time is it, lads? It just, the screen was just, could you see it earlier? The screen earlier? I'm going to get, I'm going to call it a day, lads. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to, and then that way, next, next episode, I will, I will have a Smackdown booked, ready to go. Um, and then I'll also pre-book raw as well because i think if i look at the screen now when's royal rumble royal rumbles at some point in a couple of weeks as well so yeah i'll try and pre-book up i will get better at this lads i i apologize i i hope it doesn't put you off i appreciate your support dave and josh obviously so um but yeah i'll uh i'll leave it as that now uh i don't think i'll have time to do that dave but i'll try I'm back on tomorrow, so what I'll try and do is at least pre-book SmackDown and Raw. No, I've enjoyed it as well. I've enjoyed the, the help that you've given me, Lance. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'll try and pre-book SmackDown, pre-book Raw. Exactly, six-pack. We just, we just made the greatest stable ever, everyone. We should be very happy with ourselves. 
six pack are going to take over the world. X Pac for the champion. Yeah, the logo is really cool, isn't it? I like the logo. Sorry, I just realised I'm flapping my hands about. Right. Um, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow at 2 p.m. with a book smackdown. Oh, that could be interesting, Josh. Maybe. Um, yeah, I will. I'll I'll have a think. I'll do a bit of tinkering around. Um, bearing in mind, I've got to record some football manager videos tomorrow, so I'll try and do SmackDown and Raw, hopefully, as best I can before I go to bed tonight, and then that way it's all done. So, yeah, all right, I'll at least do SmackDown anyway. Right, cheers, everyone. I'm going to go. Thanks for your support. Enjoy your rest of your day. See you later. Bye.